Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of scientific notation, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So there is a way that we're going to start working with really large and really small numbers. So let me start with a pretty simple example, just so you can see how it works. So let's say we have the number 4,358, and it's written like that, but I want to put it in this scientific notation. Let me show you what it looks like first, and then we'll figure out why it works and why it's useful. And so let's say we've got this number. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that the same digits underneath. But what I'm wanting to do, I'm going to drop my comma real quick, because what I want to do is I want to make this uh, a number. I don't care how many decimals it goes beyond the decimal point. I want it to stop at the ones place, right? And so I'm going to put four point three five eight and I'm gonna think alright my decimal on my original number I had to start right there at the ones place how many times did I have to move it over there in order to get there well I'd have to go over once twice three times so if I wanted my four point three five eight to match my four thousand three hundred fifty eight I'd have to move it over to the right three times which means it's gonna be 4.358 times, every time you move a decimal over to the right, you're multiplying it by 10, and I moved it over three times, so 10 to the third. Now, 10 to the third simply means 10 times itself three times, right? So every time you multiply it by 10, you're going to move it over once, twice, three times, so that'd be like 4.358 times 1,000, and that's how the scientific notation gets you back to 4,358. Now, it's not super helpful uh, with a small number like that, but let's see what happens when we do it with a much larger number. So let's say our number here is 42,050,000. So what we want to do is we want to rewrite it underneath here. And I'm just going to grab as many digits as I have to. I can drop those four zeros at the back here. I'm going to make it 4.205. Remember, you want to make it go to just the ones place. So you grab that first digit, put the decimal, and put as many uh, digits afterwards as you need to, but you're going to drop zeros. So I'm going to try to get from 4.205 all the way over to this 42 million. So watch. What I would need to do here is I would need to go over once, twice, three times, just to at least get to the, the zero and the five right there. That would be four times, five, six, seven. So I go over seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to match what I had previously, which it's, means it's going to be 4.205 times... 10, and then how many times you moved over, 10 to the 7th. So that would be times 10, t 7 times. And so this, 4.205 times 10 to the 7th, is the scientific notation for this much larger number, 42,050,000. And we do that simply because the numbers we're going to start working with are going to be extremely large, or sometimes they're going to be extremely small. So let's see what happens when we do something... Let's just throw a whole bunch of zeros here. That's uh, tens, hundred thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. That's your millionths. That's eight millionths, right? So how could I write that? And let's just, let's make it uh, 82 ten millionths. There we go. So we're going to do the same thing, right? We are going to get our 82, and we want it to be 8.2. We still want to have um, a number in the ones place and then anything afterwards as a decimal. But now we're going to have to move back to the left, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we would have to move back 6 times in order to get back to this 0 0.0000082. So we're going to write 8.2. Still times 10, that's your scientific notation. We moved 6 times, but we moved to the left, which means the exponent is negative 6. And so that's how you would write 82 10 millionths.